Mark. Yes, sir. Let, let, let's move the conversation forward, if you don't mind. Okay. Right? I, I know you were great friends with um, Black Rock. Yep. Yep. Both as label mates, but also just as human beings. Yep. You would have. I believe you were the first one to let the world know that Black Rob had passed. Mm -hmm. How long did you know he was sick? Um, I knew Black Rob was sick since he was going through dialysis through the whole time. Um, I used to take him to dialysis. Um, in fact, they used to call me when Rob used to have to go to dialysis, and they called me when it was time for him to get picked up. So I used to drop him off and pick him up. Not through the whole the whole thing, but when he lived in Atlanta and lived with me, that's what my responsibility was to him. And he wanted to live in Atlanta. So I told him he could move down, move into my crib, and then every day, that's what I used to have to do. I, I, you know, I knew Rob was sick way back then when we was still, um, when he had lupus. Remember, he would swell up every now and then. I just didn't know how bad it was, but then as time gradually, you know, when it just gradually got worse and worse. But um, I've been knowing he was sick for a long time. You know, I've been knowing, I knew he was sick enough to where he couldn't miss dialysis. It was very important for him to go to dialysis because once you're on dialysis, if you don't um, report and do the things that they, they ask you to do, sometimes they, they won't want to give you the treatment no more. Instead, so it was a time where they didn't want to give him treatment no more because he wasn't going on time all the time. He would miss certain days. So yeah, I've been knowing for a long time that he had a, that sickness. You you know, I I saw a, a video mm -hmm. right before Rob passed. I believe it was you who posted it. Mm -hmm. uh, Rob was in in the back seat of your car. Mm -hmm. uh, is that not accurate? Yeah, I, I never posted. When Rob was going through his sickness, I didn't want anybody uh -huh. posting him and showing him the way that he was looking when he was sick. So it was another person that, you know, he was with. Name is not important to say, but um, they they were trying to book shows for him and get him on the road. But it was it was it was hard to book shows for somebody who was going through dialysis. So, you know, he, he had to focus more on getting well before he could go on the road, but they was putting him on the road and doing things. So a lot of times when you were seeing Rob being recorded at during those times, other people was recording him. And I didn't approve of that. I was like, don't record him in this state right here. You know what I'm saying? And don't make, don't, it's like more people was trying to, you know, Rob was at the fair, had him at the fair. I had Rob at the mall after he didn't want to go to dialysis. Rob needed to be in dialysis. But anyhow, mm -hmm. I wouldn't I wouldn't put a picture. Um, matter of fact, Sean Perez, I'm gonna tell you something. I had a video, right? Of when Rob was in the hospital, when the doctor came out and they told me that they wanted me to come into the room where Rob was, and they said that you know, unfortunately, that there was going to be nothing that they could do to bring him back. But they showed me, they was like, we're trying. And they were sitting there trying. And then they gave up. And then he told me that the last thing to go when a person is losing their life is their hearing. So talk to him in the ear because he can still hear you. And I talked to him in his ear. And then after I talked to him in his ear, that was it. Well, I, you know, I was there when Rob was... um. We was at the juice bar. You know, Wop got a juice bar. He well had the juice bar on Walker Street. So he didn't want to go to dialysis anymore. And when you're going through uh, that stage where you just refuse to go through treatment, they have these spiritual people that are there to, like, help guide you through transitioning. That means you're transitioning. And you have people that are there to help you. So he had a, um, a spiritual guidance counselor, like someone who was with him. Her name was Queen, is Queen. And that morning, Rob told her, he told her that night, I believe, to call me. And then that morning, she had called me and told me that Rob wanted me to come or she wanted me to come down to the, to the hospital, I mean, to the hotel to meet Rob. And when I got to the hotel, you know, I couldn't get in until she got there. Then when I got into the hotel, Rob was on the floor. 
and he told me that he couldn't move in his legs. He couldn't feel his legs. And that's when, you know, what happened was the, 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 when it starts traveling, it starts breaking down your vital organs. So it, it went into, uh, I believe, into it started going into his lungs. You know, when things start going up into your body part here, that's when, you know, things is getting bad. Your body parts is going to shut down. And his body shut down on him. That's why his legs had gave out. Then his body shut down. Then when that happened, he passed. But I was with him right there. And um, surprisingly, he had a notebook. And on the inside of the notebook, it had Puff's number. And he kept telling me in the car to call Puff. And when he was telling me to call Puff, it wasn't like call Puff and tell him. He was like, call him and tell him I need this and I need to get an apartment. He didn't know he was dying. You know what I'm saying? He still thought he was going to get another apartment. And at the time, uh, Watt was talking to Puff and, and Puff was trying to help Rob, but I think the help was coming just a little too slow. You know, even though he may have been trying, but it just didn't happen fast enough. But when Rob passed, one of the first people that called me was him. He called on my FaceTime and he was like, you know, um, we're not going to let this be about me and you. We're going to let it be about Rob. And I said, I agree to that. He was like, uh, what do we need to do? I said, well, if we're going to need to get one of his, his, his children down here, somebody to come claim his body. And he said, OK, call the office. I called the office, the, King, the Combs Enterprise office. As he said, he, he, he got Rob's uh, son and uncle out here. Um, pay for them to come here. Um, I, I think we might have got him to pay some for the funeral or something like that. Um, but he did come to help. He, that's when we talked again. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move, and I'll catch you all on the next video.